Hey, this is Coach Colin Castello with ShotMechanics.com and today we have NBA Shooting Secrets, Steve Nash Edition. All right, so if you like this, show us a little support with a like, a comment, or a subscription and share it with your friends. And just a little thank you for me, you can either click this annotation up here or the link in the description to get a free copy of our top three favorite shooting secrets that you can put in your game. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it and the first thing I wanna talk about in Steve Nash's shooting mechanics is his wrist. Steve Nash is a master at locking his wrist early, that way he keeps his release consistent every single time he shoots. If you lock your wrist late in your mechanics, you might lock it at different points during your jump shot, making your consistency much less effective. Check out how Steve Nash's wrist is locked before the ball even gets above his head. So practice locking your wrist as soon as you catch the ball because that way, number one, you're ready to shoot, and if you're gonna pass, you're probably gonna need to lock your wrist anyways. I guess you could kind of call it the triple threat of the hand because you can pass, shoot, and dribble with your wrist locked. So lock your wrist early and watch your consistency go up. So just remember, if you lock that wrist early, not only will you be able to pass and dribble out of it faster, but you'll also be able to shoot faster as well. And the next thing that I absolutely love about Steve Nash's shooting mechanics is the angle of his release. So one of my favorite mechanics that Steve Nash has is how high his elbow is on his follow through. On every single jump shot, his elbow is above his eye on his follow through, giving the ball that optimal arc as it approaches the hoop. Remember, optimal arc will give you a larger target area, so you really have something bigger to shoot at. One way to check to make sure you're doing this correctly is after you shoot, Hold your follow through until the ball hits the floor. Once it hits the floor, look at your elbow and see where it's at. This is probably one of the biggest mistakes I see young shooters make and one reason why Steve Nash is so good. So just keep that elbow above your eye line and that'll make sure that you have that optimal arc when you release the ball, giving the ball a larger target area to hit. And the next mechanic that Steve Nash is absolutely awesome at is the locked elbow. And another great aspect of Steve Nash's shooting mechanics is that he locks his arm on his follow through. Lots of players make the mistake of shooting with a snake bite where their release comes backwards or they finish with a bent arm. It's so important to lock your arm because if you're finishing with a bent angle in your elbow, every time you shoot, you might be shooting with a slightly different bend. So that makes it a lot harder to get your muscle memory down. Steve Nash actually locks his arm so well that many times you can see kind of that outside bend where his elbow goes in. So fully extend your arm and I guarantee it will help your jumper. All right, so see if you can implement some of these mechanics into your game. And just like I always say, not everybody's mechanics are going to be exactly the same. So if this doesn't work for you, try something different. And also make sure you try our top three favorite shooting secrets, because these are ones that generally help everybody. All right, thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back on Monday for our Kyrie Irving uh, crossover drill of the week, part three. So if you want to tighten up those handles, that's where you want to be at. Splash on.